I'm going to show you how to make a drapery panel with a buckram heading. Before you get started, take your fabric and look along the edge. If you have a lot of writing and some frayed area along the edge or the selvage, you may want to cut that off. And it's just as simple as trimming it away because when light shines through your drapery, you'll see all this writing. And often this is woven tighter than the rest of the fabric, so it'll cause your sides to pull up. After that's done, go ahead and put your hems in. You'll want to cut your fabric 16 inches longer than your finished length. And we're going to start at the bottom and fold up 8 inches. And then press that with an iron. And then fold that in half again. And that'll create a double 4 inch hem, which is a standard size hem to have at the bottom of a drapery. And we'll go ahead and press that in as well. Pin in place, and then we're going to do the side hems. So I'll turn this around. For the side hem, I'm going to fold over three and then fold it in half for one and a half inch side hem. So I'll press that at three and then tuck in the edge. And that finishes off the edge of the drapery. And again, pin it so that we can take it to the sewing machine and sew the edges in place. At each corner of the side hems, I'm going to add a lead-free drapery weight. This will fall right down into the hem, so I'm just going to open that up, open up the double fold, and just drop that down three inches to where it stops, right where that fold was. So drop that in there, fold around it, and you can just let it drop and stay in there. And when you go to sew your side hems, you may want to be careful right here with your sewing machine. You might want to hand stitch around where the weight is. So now I'm going to go ahead and put in the other side hem. And this one I've already pressed. Go ahead and add that drapery weight just tucked right down inside the hem. And fold that up and add some pins. You can top stitch this on the sewing machine using a matching thread, or you could hand sew the hems if you wanted to have a nicer finish that doesn't show up as much as top stitching. Now we're ready to do the top of the panel to add the buckram. I've allowed 16 inches in the length, so the bottom hem was 4 inches doubled. That was 8 inches. And the buckram is 4 inches wide. So I'm going to double fold that into the top heading. The buckram has adhesive on it. It's a pebbly side on one side, so you can feel which side has the adhesive. You want to cut it the finished width of the drapery. So if you opened up the side hems, you wouldn't want it to go all the way to the end. You want it to end even with the finished width. So I'm just going to lay it in place and roll it out until I get to the other side. I'm just going to put a little crease in there so I know where to cut, and then cut the buckram. Now I'm ready to put it in place. Make sure the adhesive side is down. Tuck it under the side hem. Take it all the way across, even with the top edge, and then tuck it under the other side. Now I can iron it in place. You can use steam. Do test your fabric before you get started with a little piece of fabric and a little piece of buckram to make sure you can use a hot steam iron on your fabric without causing any damage. Buckram is used to create a crisp heading. Once you have buckram inserted in your drapery panel, you can make a pleated panel or a grommet panel. And be sure to watch our other videos that will show you how to do those styles. I'm going to turn it over once. So the buckram is nice and crisp against the edge and press it. 
and then turn it over one more time. Again, making sure that the buckram is crisp against the edge. Tuck in any ends if you need to and press that. and then pin in place. I'm going to pin each end to keep it from getting a skew at the ends when I'm sewing, and then pin in between. When I go to the sewing machine, I'm going to sew all the way around, starting at the top and down, all the way around, back up the top, and then finish the side and bottom hems. And then I'll be ready to do a grommet or pleat heading.